In this demonstration, we're creating this sawmill sign using a variety of 2D toolpath techniques within ArtCam Pro. This sign could also be produced within ArtCam Insignia and ArtCam Express. Within ArtCam Express, we would have to create the sawmill letters separately using two different toolpaths as it doesn't have one of the toolpath options available within ArtCam Pro or ArtCam Insignia. With ArtCam Pro open, we're going to firstly create a new model. We're going to create a height of 230 millimeters and a width of 635 millimeters. The next thing we're going to do is to import the sawmill vectors. To do this, we're going to use the vector import library. Within the vector import library, we give you a variety of different samples to use, of various different cross sections, samples, signs, etc., for you to use as you see fit. I'm going to be using the sawmill vectors. I will now start to machine the sign. Firstly, I'm going to area clearance or pocket away this area in between these two vectors which I've selected. So to do this, we're going to go to the toolpaths tab and we're going to use the area clearance tool. I'm going to choose my finish depth and my tools. I'm going to firstly use a 12mm end mill tool, a 6mm end mill tool and a nice small 1.5 end mill tool to get into the tight detail round here. I'm going to now set my material up. And I'm now going to calculate the toolpaths. So we can see firstly the 12 mil tool has been done, then the 6 mil tool. If we just zoom in here, you can see just here what the 1.5 mil tool has done. Now, just to check this looks right, I'm going to simulate the toolpath. And this will give us a good representation of what the sign will look like when it comes off the machine. If I wanted to view this in another color, I could use the simulation and change it to a wood effect. The next thing we will create is the bevel letters on the actual sawmill text itself. So to do this, first select the sawmill vectors and then select the bevel carving tool. I'm going to put in a finish depth and select my carving tool. We have to see here exactly what a V-bit carve tool looks like. We can change speeds, feeds, settings within those options. And I'm now going to calculate this. And simulate it within my 3D view. So if we zoom in slightly, we can see we now have a nice chamfer around the text itself. The next thing we're going to do is to V-bit carve the reception text. So we're going to group this together and then open the V-bit carving toolpath. 
for this, I'm going to select my carving tool. I'm going to use a sharper 90 degree tool. Again, I'm just going to simulate this. Now to finish this off, there's just two more things I need to do. First one being the drill holes. So with the two vectors selected, I'm going to open the drilling tool path. I'm going to select a six millimeter end mill tool. I'm just going to drill straight to the bottom of my model. And again, just simulate this to see exactly what it looks like. Now, just to finish this sign off, we just need to cut it out. So to do this, go and select the very outer vector and open the 2D profiling tool path. Put in the full depth of the material. Going to select a six mil end mill tool. And I'm just going to calculate this. Now, if I like, I can also add bridges to this tool path. What bridges are, is they hold the model in place. So if I open the options tab, I can just drag my four bridges that I've just now created into place. So when I simulate this, you now see that our sign has been cut out, but still held into place with these bridges or tabs. So we've seen in this demonstration that in ArtCam Pro, ArtCam Insignia, and ArtCam Express, how we can create this nice sawmill sign using a variety of 2D toolpath techniques.